we enjoy the new birth, but also we have uh, to uh, face uh, the deep sufferings uh, and death uh, of our patients and families. And uh, I think uh, this makes a change uh, in uh, our uh, life and how we interpret uh, our life. Professor Palosi, thank you for joining me. In your own words, you've said that anesthesiologists need to have cold blood but be full of empathy to balance backbone and flexibility. How does an anesthesiologist do that? How do you? Oh yes, I think uh, this is the exciting uh, side of uh, our profession, that uh, we face uh, every day uh, the black uh, and the white. Uh, uh, we save lives uh, and we try to save lives in more and more humanized way but on the other side we face every day, every hour, every minute uh, the sufferings, uh, the pain and the death uh, and this makes our profession completely different from others in medicine or surgery. We enjoy the new birth but also we have uh, to uh, face uh, the deep sufferings uh, and death uh, of our patients and families and uh, I think uh, this makes a change uh, in uh, our uh, life and how we interpret uh, our life. You've also said that our most important mission as anesthesiologists is to teach that life and death are essential parts of our existence and that we need to grab every fleeting moment. How do you teach that to other people? We have to teach uh, the younger doctors uh, that if they want uh, to become anesthesiologists and critical care physicians, uh, they need uh, to have this great uh, empathy for the patients and to be ready uh, to face uh, this big uh, contrast. Otherwise, uh, the major risk of our profession is a severe burnout that can have uh, even major negative consequences. That sounds like a really um, serious possibility. You've said that you foresee that the current trend of a shortage in anesthesiologists and intensive care physicians is likely to continue, particularly in rural areas. How can we combat that then? Absolutely, this is one of the major problems that we are facing because it's more and more difficult uh, to find this kind of characteristics, psychological and human characteristics that combine this uh, big contrast. And we have uh, to increase uh, our uh, efforts uh, to show that however uh, this is profession uh, uh, really makes major changes uh, not only in the life of patients and family, but also in your life. And then, uh, as the Talmud says, uh, uh, when you save one life, uh, is like as you save uh, the, all over the world. It's a beautiful sentiment. It's thought that AI will transform healthcare. How might it transform the requirements of an anesthesiologist? This is the other uh, issue related to our profession. We are a very technological profession, probably one of the most high-tech profession in, in medicine. And on the other side, we have not to forget, as we discussed, the human uh, part of our profession, which is uh, at least as important as the technological one. And I think that high-tech will help us but we have to be prepared to these new technology challenges in the future within our profession. What do you think the next generation needs to do to fit your vision? The first to be ready for multiple tasks. Uh, the second is to have a great empathy, to have clearly in mind uh, the compassion for uh, patients uh, and for families. Third, we have to be ready to listen, to understand the silence, and uh, finally, I think that anesthesiology should be more and more curious uh, regarding uh, the management of our patients. There is a nice sentence from uh, an Italian writer, Tiziano Tizzani, who says that when you have two pathways, one go up and one going down, it's always better to take the pathway which is going, which is going up, up. 
because in that case you don't know what you reach, but for sure you have a great hope to find new things. So my suggestion to younger anesthesiology, please, in your life, take always the path that goes up and never give up. Inspiring stuff, Professor Pelosi. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Euroanesthesia TV is brought to you from Euroanesthesia 2019, the European Anesthesiology Congress. For more videos from the Congress, make sure to click these links and subscribe for much more from the world of medicine.